Thank you for watching and in this chapter which is called sketch tool we are going to cover all sketch tools in very detail and in this video we are going to cover the line center line and midpoint line so you can go in any of the front plane or top plane or right plane so you can go into the any plane and then you can click suppose i want to go into the front plane and then you can see like if you are going to click any plane and then you can just hold your mouse there for for a moment so you can see there is an option and this is a small pop-up so what you can do is you can just click the sketch and then you can go and then you can start sketching or there is another option like if you want to go if you want to sketch suppose you want to sketch top plane or right plane whatever the plane the first option is if you are not going to move your cursor you can see sketch plane here sketch option here otherwise what you can do is you can go here into the tabs and you can see here into the ribbon section there is an option for sketch so you can go into the sketch from here as well and then as we are going to cover the line so i'm going to go into the line command line center line or midpoint line so let's start with the line so if you want to made line so what you can do is you can just click somewhere and you are already into the line command and then if you are going to click somewhere so it would be a point there you can add another point here or you can add another point somewhere here but there is another point which you need to which you need to notice like if you are uh, pointing your line here as you can see after that there are different yellow lines here so if you want to have a parallel line to this direction you can follow this yellow line or if you want to have next line part into the perpendicular of this this previous line so what you can do is you can just go and then you can have a perpendicular line or if you want to make a circle so what you can do is you can just rotate your uh, your uh, this cursor around this point and then what you can do is you can draw a circle or whatever you want or if you want to go out of the command so what you can do is you can just press escape on your keyboard so in this way i would be out of the command suppose if you want to draw different kind of lines or different kind of segments so what you can do is you can again go back into the line and then you can draw your lines so one option is like you can just click then in this way your command will be still on and if you want to go out of the command you need to press escape on your keyboard or if you want to click somewhere and you don't want to have the command turn on so what you can do is like again you can go into the line and then you don't need to click it you just need to point and hold the mouse like i started my line from here i hold my left key on my mouse and then wherever i'm gonna drag so i just need to remove the hold cursor of my mouse and then the command is not gonna be on anymore so in that in that way i can have just one segment of the line and one more thing like if you don't like any design of these segments so what you can do is you can add different kind of relations suppose i want to have a relation between this segment and this segment so i'm going to select this segment and then i'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard and then i'm going to select this segment so in that way you can see there is an option there is a pop-up like you can add different kind of relation you can make them horizontal perpendicular or collinear uh, or you can have a perpendicular relation you can make them parallel equal or you can fix them at some point these are all options are here so into the feature manager as well suppose if i want to have these two segments perpendicular to each other so i'm going to select perpendicular and in this way these two segments are perpendicular as you can see there is a 90 angle between them or if i want to have uh, a relation between these two segments what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this segment and, and i'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard and then i'm going to select this segment as well and then you can see here all all the options or you can go into the feature manager and then you can have these options as well so right now you can see this segment is smaller and this is bigger so if i want to make them uh, equal so what i can do is i can just press equal so both have a equal length as you can see so in that way i can have a different kind of uh, i can add different kind of relations or i can fix them or i can move them as whatever i want so this is about the line so let's go into the center lines sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solid work learner then i am going to highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video and you would found a link of my course where i have over 10 hours of videos in which i have explained each and every command in a very detailed video 
or if you have any projects or assignments so feel free to write me on my email which is given into the description of this video thank you so center line or the construction lines both are the same so if suppose i have this line so if i want to convert this line into a construction line so what i can do is i can just select this segment or this line and then i'm gonna go into the feature manager as you can see here into the options like i can just select for construction and then i'm going to click the green check mark so in this way i can just convert this line into a construction line or another option is i can go into the line and i can draw a center line here so center line and construction line both are similar maybe like you can see a bit difference into their design but both works pretty similar like you can use them as a rotational axis or if you want to skip them from any sketch and you don't want to have extrude them or you don't want to have any kind of action on them so you can just what you can do is you can convert those lines or those segment into the construction geometry so in that way they are not going to work anymore okay or you can just what you can do is like you can just control them to make some kind of dimensions or if you want to have less dimension so let's take an example i can show you how we can use construction lines or center lines and then we can control our sketch i'm gonna go back again into the front plane i'm gonna go back into the front plane and go into the sketch so what i can do is like if i'm gonna start a line from here to here and then here and then i'm gonna complete it here and then i'm gonna click the green check mark and then let's go again into the line and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna draw a center line from this point till this point and then i want to have another center line from this point till this point and then my center line is still on so i can press escape on my keyboard then i would be out of this command and what i can do is like i, I can just select this line I can hold the control key on my keyboard and then I can select another line. So in that way, all the options for the relations could be in the, uh, appear in front of the screen. So I want to have a perpendicular relation between these two center lines. So, and then you can see these two center lines are perpendicular to each other. So I'm gonna click the green check mark. Okay, after that, what I want to do is I, I was thinking to move them somewhere else because I want to bring this center on to the origin. So I want to make it more difficult. It is really easy. But I already made a relation which is perpendicular relation between these two center lines. So what the next thing what I want to do is I want to add a point. So I am just going to zoom a bit and then I'm going to go here into the ribbon section. And as you can see, there is an option for the point. So I'm going to click the point. And then I can just hover my cursor onto this line and you can see there is a midpoint for this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover my cursor on this line and then I would found my center point here. So I'm going to draw a point on this point and then I'm going to click the green check mark. And after that, in the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this point and then I'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard and then I'm going to select this line. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm I'm uh, by mistake. I'm just adding another point there. So I'm gonna go and Control Z. So in that way, I just deleted that that point. And now what I'm gonna do again is like I'm gonna select this point, and then I'm gonna hold the Control key and I'm gonna select this line. So in that way, like I can add a relation. So what I want to do is I want to have a midpoint between these two lines. So that's why this point move from here to midpoint, and then I'm gonna click the green check mark okay so i have a midpoint for them so this is my midpoint so what i can do is now i want to bring this point to the origin so what i can do is i can just zoom a bit and then i can select my point then i can hold the control key on my keyboard and then i can come into the origin and then i can select the center of the origin and then you can see there is option for the midpoints for the i can i can made a relation between these two points what i want to do is i want to coincident between these two points so in that way my point is just gonna fly from that point till here so because they both are coincident now so this is this is my triangle i want to have a normal view so let's go from that view till here and now you can see what i can do is because there is a relation i can control i can control my rectangle you can say this way or if i want to control into the vertical side i can control them or if i want to control it from bigger to smaller because we already added relation so 
that's why we can control this whole shape or so in this way like you don't need to explain or put dimensions again and again so in that way like i don't need to give dimensions so if you want to give dimensions what you can do is you can just give some dimensions only these two lines and you don't need to give dimensions to all the segments look so i just need to give only two dimensions and that in this way i can control the whole shape so look at that like how the center line or construction line is really really powerful and we can control our sketches and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and if you are a serious solidwork learner then don't forget to check the course link in the description thank you Sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solid work learner then I am going to highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video and you would found a link of my course where I have over 10 hours of videos in which I have explained each and every command in a very detailed video or if you have any projects or assignments so feel free to write me on my email which is given into the description of this video thank you